Hi guys, it's me, Michael Ankers. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Michael Ankers Music and World. If you are a returning viewer, subscribers, thank you so much for returning. But if you are new or haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe for some post notifications to let you know whenever we do a new video, just like this one. So, in today's video, um, I've tried to film this a few times, so we'll get we'll it into it now properly. Um, I asked on my Instagram the other day if you guys would like to see um like a you know like a sort of applying for uni sort of advice video things like that and also talk about my journey in applying for uni uh university um and you guys said yes also if you don't follow me on instagram to take part in polls and stuff like that it is at michael and his music anyway so i see most of you said yes so i thought i would film the video for you today guys um so um before one thing that i would say before we even start applying for uni whatever course you know degree etc you want to do don't feel pressured to do something that someone else wants to do or because you know someone who's doing that course maybe if you have a same interest or similar goals then that's fine but never feel pressured to do something oh because someone told you to or because someone you know to do blah 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 don't feel <coughs> ever feel pressured but like obviously if you you know if you will say if you went to college and you did the same course and you want to do the same similar degree you know that sort of makes sense but i think never feel pressured to do anything you don't want to do based um so obviously you may want to do more than one degree obviously it depends um so now in terms of like possible future the university there's a lovely handy very handy website called utas so that is basically um so ucas if you don't know how to spell it um well i'm not exactly sure what it stands for but basically it's a website that helps you pick out and apply to universities so usually you get five choices um so that could be one course from five different universities or it could be two courses from one uni and three courses from another as long as it's five so um i applied for a cor two courses at salford well university of salford um i applied for two courses at Arden which is basically a drama school and then one course at UCL which is at um, Oldham University basically um, so with that so basically how it works is you obviously you put in all your details and you know your quotations and, and like you know when you want to start like 7 to 23 or like some people might apply for them like, like the year after but you know just in advance um, but yeah so that is completely fine um so if you are so if you're coming from a college you know, like might have coming from college or whatever you or if you've never been to university before you are considered an undergraduate so you would be applied for undergraduate courses so most courses are for you some are there's some that are one years some that are four because you might do say if you wanted to do a teaching you might do an extra year something like that um so apply for that maybe not apply for that to obviously some obviously unis or drama schools or whatever or similar courses but maybe not specifically they'll you know they'll do something different or they might have a some course or the same like you know time course or you know degree whatever so i am going to be going to the university of huddersfield i would get into that because that was not one of my first five choices um to be doing it would be doing drama or acting and forms that basically the change in the name of the course but i'm not exactly sure if it's from this year or from the next year's students so obviously because i'm doing your first year this year which is kind of weird um but yeah so fun times anyway so uh so with so yeah so obviously you pick five choices you put in all your details da, 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 but you also have to do a thing called a personal statement um and i think that is around has to be like four one thousand or between ones I, I, well it has to be a certain amount of words it, they might change it I'm not sure because I think mine has to be like a thousand words or it was like less than four thousand something like that um, there was a few months ago so I can't exactly remember that uh, but with your personal statement you have to do things like why you want to do the course like what your future goals are um, you know talk about some of your experience all things like that but obviously there'll be a clear outline for what you want to do but it has to be so that you have to do the same one for all five courses you can't change it that's how it works you have to just do it as it is uh, so now so if 
in the unfortunate thing that you might not get into, might not get accepted for them um, courses, um, like any of the five first five pits. So I, one of the courses that I applied for shut down because um, lack of number of interested people. Uh, another one sort of messed me well. Uh, but they gave me an audition for something else, but that didn't work out either. And then another one just did. And then the, one of them was a bit of a wild card, and the one was I just didn't like anyway, so it's fine. Uh, but they, obviously, these things happen. Um, so, what I decided to do was with Help and Mature, um, I was like, oh, what am I do? So, one of my college performing arts students said, well, why don't you, you know? So, she set up a meeting with one of the co college career advisors for me. And what it just said, have a look at Huddersfield, which is a lot of great drama course. Um, not you know, it's a bit easy to get in, and I think you'll be really like the actual campus. And like they, she done some like training there years ago. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so I went. So I applied. Uh, did an interview with one of the um, tutor. Well, the main tutor for that course. Um, for the degree, uh, which is the exam one, and I got it. So, how it works is with some unis or some all dramas, because it depends, you have to have a certain qualification or like a certain grade. So, with some ones, you might have to get a pass merit distinction. If you're not in college, you might not know about that. But basically, how a lot of um, college social work you'll get a pass a merit or distinction, or you might fit or, or fail. It's not like when you're in still Jesus thing like one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, all that, you know, A, B, C, da, da, da. Um, but that's basically how that works. But with my one, um, mine was so there's a conditional offer, which means if you get a certain grade, you don't like, you know, like if you get a pass. You know, this feels not too bad. Or there might be an unconditional no where no matter what grade you get, you'll still get in, just depends. Um, because I'd obviously, I'd already done level 3 for fun arts, which was completely fine, that was basically the same as three A-levels, I got in, but also, um, I did a level 4, obviously I'd done level 4, so obviously I'd already, I've already got in, obviously you know, I started to do enrolment and stuff, um, so like next week or something like that, but yeah, so done that, all sorted, uh, basically, <laughs> but obviously you know, a few more things to do for you. Um, another few things, so like when you're obviously looking for, you know, places to apply to, if there's somewhere that you've applied to, go to, if there's an open day, go to it, or if there's some way, say, because there were some people that I went to an open day for, at Huddersfield, and there was obviously quite a lot of people that would have applied in 2024 for the university, but it's good to plan ahead. Now, me, obviously, my, my sort of application journey was quite stressful. Um, you know, rejections and things, and obviously drama still. So also, if you apply for a drama still, because I did, well, bit only one, but, um, you know, it is, it, some courses are very hard to get into, some are very easy, but obviously, so, you know, make sure you prepare one or a son or whatever they ask you to do, uh, more speech, or, you know, maybe a slight piece of theatre, or you might have to work with a group, do, do, do. that's what I would say. Um, obviously, make sure you prepare, like, as much as you can. You know, um, but don't feel you know like make sure you give yourself a break and free time to just relax or see your friends or family or don't put too much stress on yourself. And obviously, maybe in college doing work or you might have a job, things like that. Um, yeah, so that's not main. It's the main thing I'm saying. Go to an open days. Um, you know, like find out everything you can. Um, so yeah, so obviously the. Oh, also before I forget, the application for UTAS you do have to pay for. So it is twenty. It, the one when I did it, like this year, it was twenty seven pound fifty. It might go lower, it might go higher. I don't know. It might depend on what area. I don't know how it works. Uh, but to me, it's twenty seven pound fifty. Um, and then <coughs> if also when you're applying for uni, if you do actually obviously great, you get a place for well, you do have to apply for student finance. Which is basically will cover you know when you say about student loans, so that will cover your tuition loans, um, issues like the maximum is nine thousand two hundred fifty something like that, um, and then you can also apply for maintenance loans. So if you stay in in the student accommodation, that's another thing. Try and find something nearby or like not too far away, 
Um, also, if you're a disabled um, student, you can get something like DSA. So if you've got, say, if you're in a wheelchair or you've got some medical conditions or learning conditions or, or whatever, you are entitled to DSA, which is Disabled Student Allowance, um, which helps obviously, you know, to see more money for certain things you might need or just things at home or whatever. Um, for, you know, fee freeze or how long you're going to be uni for, um, which is really good. And then also, yeah, so the things like that, which is amazing to like, yeah. Um, but also, you know, like, it's do so you, you have to get medical evidence for that. So sometimes you have to fill out a DSA evidence form that you have to fill out, and then you might have to get your doctor to fill out, like, when we were diagnosed with some, like, when I was diagnosed with autism in 2000, and like 14, something like that, whatever. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, but yeah, so, make sure you get diagnosed when you can. Anyway, so, um, but yeah. I don't know, that's what I would say, so that's pretty much my advice. Um, sorry for waffling on a bit. Uh, this video is over 10 minutes, lovely. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. There's going to be a lot more uni content available. Um, and I will see you very soon. And if there's anything specifically you want me to see me do, I will probably be filming a day in my life soon for something uni related. So yeah, obviously not just vegan uni related, but you know, I've said some sort of day and I'm stuff now. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like to watch and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at MyFront. Follow me on Instagram at MyFront. Follow me on TikTok at MeetMayFront. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys. Mm -hmm.